if you are in need of cheap Madden coins, go to MMOEXP.com. Be sure to use promo code Ryan at checkout to get 5% off your order. Link is in the description, guys. Yo, what is going on, you guys? Welcome back to another Madden Ultimate Team video, and this is what you guys have all been waiting for. Well, some of you guys have been waiting for. This is going to be the pack and play beginning, the starter team of the series here. We're going to see what we can get for our team. I decided to go ahead and rip 50 get a gold player packs because, guys, like, getting good pulls in this game is, you know, few and far between, and, you know, trying to get a full squad out of a get a gold player pack bundle um you know even if you do like 25 or something like that pretty much impossible i don't even really have bronze cards on my account so i have to rip at least 50 to get the team going uh let's see what we can get though i mean we're getting a whole bunch of you know just basic golds here um nothing out of control nothing you know crazy uh to start roger saffold i mean a 79 overall gold's pretty good in a pack and play squad um, now, as for rules, I'm still, you know, writing them down. I'm still getting them, uh, you know, hammered out and getting all the details, uh, you know, squared up and whatnot. I will have that before the first game. Uh, there's Teddy Bridgewater. He may actually be our starting quarterback here. And uh, it's kind of scary because, you know, it's kind of hard to pull a quarterback. Um, but, yeah, I will have all the rules. Uh, Monte Sweat, that's a good one to have. Um, I'll have all the rules and stuff before the first game. I know a lot of people uh, are anticipating, you know, what I'm going to be doing for each win, um, you know, how I'm going to upgrade the team. There is just one thing that I need to ask you guys, and that is, you know, power-up players. When I get a power-up player, so for example, let's say I get a power-up of like, I don't know, uh, Melvin Gordon. Should I be able to upgrade that Melvin Gordon after every win, or could I just upgrade it, you know, to the max whenever I, you know, feel like it? Here is a crazy pull, guys. 91 overall Sammy Watkins Series Redux. So if there was ever a time to have, like, a team captain, there you go. Sammy Watkins Redux player, 91 overall. That's a crazy pull. That's about a 500k pull right there for the Packet Play squad right away. Like, I can't even believe I just pulled that. Um, but, yeah, power-up players, guys. What should I do with power-up players? Again, I don't know if I should go for every win. I could give it an upgrade. Because um, right there, for example, Odell Beckham Jr. just pulled Odell Beckham. Should I be able to upgrade that whenever I want? Since I did technically pull that card, I could upgrade it and all I need is training. Like, what should I do with the power-up players? I'm, you know, kind of thinking, like, if I am able to pull a power-up player, uh, they are able to be upgraded and it'll help my team out a lot you know, to actually be able to win games. Uh, so should I be able to upgrade them? Um, maybe uh, for every win that I get or for every, I don't know, maybe two wins that I get, I could upgrade it as much as I want. Um, I'm not sure. Like, I really, really don't know what would be the best, uh, you know, strategy to go for with power-up players. Again, I'm not going to pull a whole ton of them. Right now, I'm going to pull a whole ton of them because I'm opening up, you know, 50 packs. But after every win, let's say I only do like a five get a gold bundle for every win. You know, my chances of actually pulling a power-up player is really low. So, you know, maybe, you know, just to get the team started off, I should be able to upgrade them, you know, at least, you know, mostly all the way. I'm not sure. Definitely let me know. This is definitely all about feedback and, you know, uh, you know, a viewer interaction. I definitely want to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions on power-up players. Um, but yeah, guys, we got a Series Redux Sammy Watkins, 91 overall. Uh, we also got a Bruce Matthews right guard. I think it was like an 82 overall. And then, of course, we have that Daniil Hunter, which is like 81 overall. So not bad. I mean, we're not getting like, uh, you know, good upgrades everywhere, but we are getting some pretty nice players, um, you know, mixed in every once in a while here. Uh, now, as for like, uh, you know, um, what do I want? As for like chemistry and, you know, things like that, uh, I don't think I'm going to be doing that on pack and play just because of how rare it's going to be to be actually be able to like put, you know, uh, chemistries on a player and like get things on the guy. Like if I want to get like, uh, you know, power run going, like it's going to be so hard to be able to do it with a whole bunch of gold cards. So I'm not even sure I'm going to go ahead and do 
any chemistries. Like, I think I'm just going to throw that out of the water. Uh, maybe later on, here's another power-up player, Adam, uh, Adam Thielen. Uh, maybe later on down the road when I have a lot of good players, if I do have a lot of good players, I'll do chemistries. But I think I'm just going to rock with the, uh, you know, the lower-tiered squad. And, you know, it's going to be a way different series than it has been in the past. Like, when I used to do packet play in the past, I was able to beat guys, you know, with a silver squad, and I was able to get upgrades, and you didn't really have to worry about chemistries and all the abilities of players. Um, but nowadays, uh, you know, that takes into account, like, a lot of people's strategy online, having chemistries, having abilities, you know, being able to, you know, uh, you know, assemble a team that works together. Now I'm going into this with, you know, just a bunch of gold guys. It's going to be a lot harder. So bear with me. The series is going to start off slow. Um, unless I can just somehow string together a bunch of wins and get a lot of good upgrades. The series is going to be really, really, really slow um, to begin, if I had to imagine. And we're going to have to, you know, work our asses off to get a better team. Um, definitely that Sammy Watkins is going to help a lot. Uh, I pulled like an 89 speed Tony Pollard. So at least I'll be able to move the ball <clears throat> at least a little bit on offense. And, you know, whether... You know, I have to get lucky or not. Kyle Allen, 76 overall. Looks like that's going to be our quarterback. Um, not bad. Definitely not terrible, but definitely not good. Um, other than, like, the Kyler Murray that I got, like, I might have to do, like, a two-quarterback system with him and Kyler Murray to begin. I just really hope I don't run into people that are running, like, 99 overall squads and whatnot, you know? Like, I know the max overall you get right now is, like, a 92 or 93, but... Um, Hopefully, I don't run into squads like that. I really wish they did, like, a matchup system. Like, okay, I'm a, you know, 75 overall. Uh, you know, put me in games with 75 overall to, like, 80 overall. Or, you know, 70 to 80 overall teams. That would be freaking fantastic if that's how Madden worked. But you can't always get what you want with EA. So, that's going to be the full pack opening here. We got one more pool here. And it's going to be a Jermaine Grace uh, 75 overall linebacker. Here is the squad put together. Um, we do have the Sammy Watkins, but here is what we managed to put together. Kyle Allen and Kyler Murray. We got Sammy Watkins, Josh Gordon, Des Bryant at slot, uh, Tony Pollard, Giovanni Bernard. We have Odell Beckham and Adam Thielen down there, uh, you know, as wide receivers four and five. Um, Kelvin Beecham, you know, Bruce Matthews on the line, Ricky Seals-Jones. And then on the defensive side of the ball, I did not pull another safety, so I have to use Pat Tillman, um, you know, just a little base card that isn't even upgraded yet at all, uh, you know, at my free safety position. Um, everything else, though, on defense, not terrible, but definitely not good. The D-line is pretty cool. Monte Sweat is really fast and really tall, so I'm going to play him at right end. Uh, Allen Page, you know, all that. Uh, and the kick returner, we got Sammy Watkins, punt returner, Tony Pollard. So, yeah, guys, that is the beginning of Pack and Play. That is getting the team together. As always, if you guys need coins, go to MMOEXP.com. Link is in the description. You can get 5% off your order if you use code Ryan. And next video, I will have the rules, and I will be playing my first game. Hopefully, we can get a dub, but probably not. If you guys enjoyed, go ahead and give that video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Talk to you guys later. Peace.